hello to all of my cappies, all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Freedom Friday reading. This video, this video is from the 21st of October through the 31st of October. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what these cards have to say. Capricorns. Yes, Capricorns. My loyal, hardworking team players. You all are ambitious. You're classy. You're very responsible. The most responsible, in fact. I know somebody's going to listen to this and be like, well, I know a Capricorn that's not responsible. <laughs> Anyway, responsible, you will have self-discipline, your self-control, great managers of people, money, and time, and highly creative sign, right? So we can tell, help you get tap into your creativity, help you tap into your creativity, Capricorns. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Capricorns, let's see what your cards have to say. Hopefully you all um, hopefully you all had a chance to watch last Friday's video as well as last Monday's video where the um the um the thumbnail reads how to mother yourselves. This is going to be real key, especially when we're moving through these phases, how to mother yourself or how to nurture yourself or what feeds your soul or what feels like soul food to you is going to be really, really key, right? So that you don't vibrate low. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Capricorns. Let's go. All right, my sea goats. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'm talking to you if you have a Capricorn anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus which we're going to speak to today specifically to help somebody understand something. We have the magician card, the fool card, the everything is fine, the star card, the empress card, the 10 of wands, right? So speaking to your identity, here we have the magician card, the fool card. Let me see if we have any more major arcana. Yes, we do. We have the star card and the empress card. Woo. Some good things are coming your way. We're going to put these two cards here together right here. We have the two cards that we're putting together right here. Somebody may have felt foolish about something in the past, but I see somebody finding ways to nurture yourself, to mother yourself, right? This is not about calling a person a fool. You don't have to feel foolish about something that you left behind because what? Everything is fine. Source is saying to you, everything is fine. Sometimes we just overthink things. You know, we just assume things. Let's say, let's say you were in a relationship with an Aquarius because the star card is attached to Aquarius and maybe messages are coming through to you, but the messages that are coming through is that everything is fine. Sources like what you may have thought was something was wrong. It's not, you don't even have to overburden yourself with that. Here we have the 10 of wands, get to work, right? Get booked and busy. We have the Empress card. Somebody is entering into a space of abundance, right? So this is really about finding what nurtures your spirit. Because I'm telling you, somebody, especially if it was in a relationship with an Aquarius, let's say your mom is an Aquarius or your ex is an Aquarius or whoever is an Aquarius. Remember, you and Aquarius actually share this the um, the zodiac sign Saturn. That's why I always tell people, stop getting so caught up in, I don't like this sign and I don't like that sign. Go pull your full birth chart and get to know that part of yourself, right? So you can keep your vibrations really high. But source is saying to you, listen, everything is fine. Don't trip over certain things. Don't don't even trip over certain things. Let's say your relationship was with some with an air sign because this would be this would be Gemini. This is Mercury, right? But this is uh this is Aquarius and this is Aquarius and this is Uranus. Currently, we're uh, Uranus is currently retrograde, right? Mercury is not, but Uranus is currently retrograde. The message that somebody is like, okay, let me switch it up real quick. Maybe they're off busy doing something, whatever they're doing. Aquarius is that sign that's like they really march to the beat of their own drum. Intellectually, they're the smartest sign in the zodiac. Somebody can go look it up. This is not me favoring one sign over another because as you all know, if you listen to my other readings, I... I you know, I big up every single sign, right? Because I, I, I literally have every sign in my zodiac. So when you, when in my birth chart, so when you get to know those parts of yourself, it becomes less about what this person did to me and more so about what did I learn about myself? Like, what did I learn about myself in that particular relationship? So anyway, I see somebody learning how to mother themselves where you're booked and busy. You don't have time to be burdened and bitter. And the only reason I even mention Aquarius is because you got Aquarius here. I can even mention uh, Virgo and Gemini. Gemini, like an Aquarius, is an air sign, right? So again, whatever you may have felt like something where you didn't feel where you may have felt foolish about a situation, you can go ahead and snatch that back out of the universe. I mean, really, that's not arrogance. It just is. Sometimes you got these, uh, the Aquarius and Geminis are thinkers. Their mind could be off on something thinking about, uh, and I'm not even kidding when I say this. I'm not even trying to be funny. They could be thinking about the distance between the sun and Saturn, or they could be thinking about 
Venus and, and if I if I travel to Venus or am I going to ever open up the planet Venus? Jim and I could be off reading a book somewhere. I'm not because they're thinkers. Their brains just don't turn off. Right. If it's Virgos, they could be somewhere overthinking because they're the I analyze sign. So, again, when you get to know that part of yourselves and what nurtures you again, go watch, go watch last Friday and go watch last Monday's video because I'm, I'm laying it out. This is what nurtures you. And I'm telling every sign that a lot of, a lot of us, as we move towards, as we close out this cycle, I want you all, this is why I talk about cycles and, and moving from one phase within the cycle to the next. Cause every time we move from one phase to the next within a cycle, and we're about to end out or close out that cycle, like we're feeling right now, the effects of the last quarter moon in cancer, everybody is like, Think of it this. Let's say your favorite store is about to do a, a, a closeout sale or something like that. You're trying to race and get to the store. Some of y'all may even take off of work and say, no, nah, my favorite store is closing. I got to get there before everybody else. It's like sometimes it call, it, it's feminine energy. It causes a lot of chaos and confusion, but it doesn't have to when you know how to prepare yourselves, Capricorn. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. And if it doesn't, then hey, it just doesn't resonate with you, right? But again, I'm seeing somebody learning how to do how to mother themselves so that you're not stressed out over something, right? You're not stressed out over something. Again, I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn, if you're on the cusp of Aquarius Capricorn, or if you're on the cusp of um, or if you're on the cusp of Sagittarius, you got a lot of good things coming your way. Here we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Sun card and the King of Cups, right? This is where somebody is just, they, they became wiser about a situation. Somebody said, you know what? Let me sit down and pull my birth chart. Let me find out what my moon sign is. Because some signs don't nurture your spirit. Is that for anybody to say anything negative about another sign? No. Hey, it just doesn't nurture my spirit. So let me just move on from that. Let me not, I'm not even going to sit over here and stress out over it. Don't want to get out of the bed. Don't want to eat or drink like you in the R&B video. <laughs> like we're talking about the, the ones back in the 80s and 90s where people would just be just over dramatic, dragging mattresses out on stage and throwing themselves or, you know, laid out on the floor with the microphone in their hands. Like, don't y'all like the theatrics of all of that? But again, you're not getting paid for this because matter of fact, you're less like you're tossing money into the fire because your time is your currency. So I do see somebody getting back on their throne. You're very compassionate. You're very wise about a situation, but you're also vetting the energies coming across your path. This is not for you to say, I do not get along with uh, Gemini's or Aquarius or, uh, or Virgos or Libras or whatever sign. Or even fellow Capricorns. This is for you to say, I'm getting back on my throne. I know what nurtures my spirit and what doesn't nurture my spirit. Maybe certain signs just need to be put in the acquaintance category. Or when those particular signs come across my path, maybe I need to vet them. Because again, maybe I need to vet them a little bit more. Because I already know the experience I've had with certain signs in the past. And it's not that I don't like them. I just know what just doesn't nurture my spirit and what does. I mean, what does and what doesn't. Right? So I do see... You having the ability to see your own life purpose. Your sun sign is really about your identity and your life purpose. So let's say your sun sign is Capricorn. Life may call you to take on the mantle of responsibility of leadership. Like your path, your life path may be to encourage and develop of self-reliance and reliability, right? So again, if your if your life path is that as a Capricorn, it's not going to help you to stay in this position right here if if you realize, hey, this energy just doesn't nurture my spirit, it could be an ex-lover, it could be a family member, it could be a whatever, time is currency. You could be wasting your currency, you know, being burdened and, and blowtorching people. I see new love coming across somebody's space. New love is coming across somebody's path. New love is new inspiration. Like new, when I say new love, it could be new song coming across your path. It could be whatever nurtures your spirit. Something emotional is coming across your path. It could be a more youthful love coming across your path for some of you all, but you had to walk away from one thing in order for this to come in. See how this person is walking away? And here's this new thing coming in. Yeah. Yeah emotionally somebody is walking away from something so that you can make room for something new to come in you got perfect alignment with your money so some of you all are either either you're in the perfect job already capricorn or new inspiration is coming in right 
It's not always in the form of a person. It's new inspiration coming in. You got to know what your, so if your sun sign is Capricorn, that's with that. If your moon sign is Capricorn, you need, you may need a more structured routine and you tend to be efficient with your time and resources. Safety comes from the feeling that you're in control. So you, you, you learn how to be in control of your emotions after having something like, okay, this energy just doesn't nurture my spirit. You know how like, so you all, you all are great leaders. You all are, um, you all kind of sort of know, like you, you are able to lead departments. You're able to lead, you know, an army or, or you know, whatever, L take charge of things, right? A, a great leader is a person who knows how to delegate duties. They know how, so they're not putting all the, uh, putting all of the, um, pressure on themselves. And that's what I'm saying for you all as a life purpose of whatever you're leading or whatever in, you're in charge of, you say, okay, this employee right here, you know, their strong suit is this. So maybe I'll put them over this project over here. This one over here, um, they're, they're good in this particular area. So I'm going to put them in charge of that, that kind of energy. And this is you right here. Perfect alignment. Cause you know exactly where people belong in your life. That's where the control piece is. You're not trying to tell them how you would do it. You're just doing it. This is you taking action, right? So yeah, this is nice. Very, very nice. So we're talking about your love life. We're talking about what pleases you. That's your Venus. We're talking about your ascendant. See if you, it, it, this is your, your ascendant. If you don't get up from this place and and not be like, woe is me, everybody keeps hurting me and everybody keeps projecting ne negativity onto me, how you present yourself to other people, that's your ascendant sign, that's that mask everybody talks about, is going to be as a hurt person who's running around hurting other people, cutting people off in mid-sentence, they can't finish their thought, it comes across as controlling, it actually comes across as very weak, it comes across as zombified, right? So again, it comes across like, you know, like you feel foolish, like a person who hasn't learned instead of somebody who is very regal, somebody who is their yeses are yes, their noes are noes. They're listening to their ancestors they're listening to source within. They are, they are able to communicate. That's where Mercury, this is, you're able to communicate that I'm in control of my life. I'm not in a zombified state, right? I'm a very compassionate person. I'm a very wise person. I, I earn my place on my throne. I know that I'm powerful. I know that I'm smart. I'm not a fool, right? And so, yeah, this is nice. This is very, very nice Capricorn. I love it, love it, love it. I love it, love it, love it for you because you deserve it. You absolutely deserve it, Capricorns, right? So... Let's see what else we got going on here, Capricorn. So yeah, I do see somebody in a, like I said, a leadership position. I see more abundance coming your way. I see you able to, you have this clear vision of how you want your life to look. And you are strategically placing people in your life so that you know that you're in control of a situation without coming across as controlling. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody because you got some big things coming your way where you are the star. You are the star. Every every time you learn and these messages coming down to source is not messages of hurt. And I've, I've lost control and defensive. No, I belong on that throne. I am extremely smart. I'm extremely smart. I am, you know, I am very compassionate. And I'm very wise. And I got new inspiration just keeps coming to me. Whether it's new inspiration in love, if you're a songwriter, you know, you are, you're, you're iron is sharp, sharpening iron around other creators um, or creatives um, in the same thing in the workplace, you know, no matter what you do. Here we have the King of Cups again, King of Cups, right? So you could be, you could be in Cups energy is water energy. And so as we're in this space of water, because we're in this last quarter moon phase of cap of cancer but we're also moving into this new moon in scorpio cancer and scorpio are both water signs so this is where you are allowing your creative like the the more depth of your creativity when it comes to delegating duty in your office whereas delegating duty in your business whatever you're learning how to do you're you're comfortably on your throne right you're comfortably on your throne let's see what else we got going on here this is very nice this is very nice so yeah like i said before money is in perfect alignment money is in perfect alignment i love it so kudos to whoever who has new love in their life because you walk you finally emotionally walked away from something else um kudos to somebody who's writing some new songs writing a new books so maybe revising a book you already have um, somebody going to chef school or a culinary school or something like that. Cause again, you had to walk away from something emotionally. You didn't lose control. You didn't give up. You just said, this just doesn't serve. This doesn't nurture my spirit. I'm moving on. There we go. Nine of wands. 
see how this person is on the other side of they got the branches behind them the wands behind them they're on the other side really going over in their mind what nurtures you and what doesn't nurture you that, that's going to make somebody a much better leader so that you don't feel like you know i'm just spinning my wheels and i feel like i'm emotionally just drained you know thinking about wondering what happened did i say or do something is it me that's just way too much time to be thinking about something where you could be living your absolute best life. Like I said before, source has your money in perfect alignment and you are the star of the show. We got the sun right here, which is a star and we have the star right here. So day and night you shining day and day and night. You are inspiring yourselves. You are nurturing yourself. You're mothering yourselves. And so somebody is going to feel like everything is coming together. Yeah. Here we have deep breathing. Just take a deep breath. <laughs> take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath and just really sit down and what mothers you. I put the answers on the other channel. I mean, like I'm sorry, I put the the answers on the uh, on, and so I don't want to. I don't want to re keep repeating myself so that we got um, we got people who um, who you know my my soul tribe. You guys that come back on a regular basis, it's like okay, we heard this the same thing. You keep telling me it's the same thing over and over and over again. So for the people who are who have come back thank you for supporting my channel but if you're new to my channel thank you and welcome you know so don't forget to go watch the the thumbnail says how to mother yourself that's what this is how do your mother how to mother yourselves right how to mother yourself so like i said be careful about your ascendant sign that's not something we can turn off to be honest with you that is something that that how the world sees you and you don't want to come across as a person who is out of control and can't control, you know, can't control your emotions, right? If your Venus is uh, Capricorn, you know, your aesthetic sense favors structure and definition in a face, right? So as well as clothes or a work of art. So that's where your love and pleasure lies because Venus is the principle of pleasure and um, and desire and reflecting our aesthetic values and our taste. It's our impulse to relate to others. It indicates how we show love and affection and how we create bonds. So aesthetically, that person, you know, may have a, a very attractive face. If your if your Venus is in Capricorn, or and their body may look nice, they may have this stuff together. You know, they all of those things. So whatever it is. Whatever it is, I'm speaking to those parts of you. But if you want to, I'm actually, when I do my readings, I'm speaking to every planet in your universe. But I'm specifically pulling out those four. And, um, so like I said before, you're learning what nurtures yourself. Let me see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here before we close out your reading, Capricorns. Yes, a time to give and rather than a time to take. I mentioned Virgo earlier. So yeah, a, a time to give versus rather a time to take. This is where you're giving yourself the nurturing that you may have been giving to a person, place, or thing. And the thing could be a situation of just kind of like not knowing what happened. Did I say or do something or whatever? You're, you're giving yourself, you're taking that time back and taking the time to really see what nurtures yourself, right? So, um, so instead of taking on this, energy of i'm not sure this person ghosted me they're not you're you're spending your time very wisely is what i'm seeing for you let's see if we can um get a number card for you let's see if we can get a number card for you before we close this out capricorn let's get a number card for you let's get a number card so we can close this out for you let's get a number let's get a number card 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 for you. Let's get a number card. Let's see what we got going on here. Yes, Capricorns. I am a visionary. That's right. 13, 12 is your number. I saw, thir I mean, uh, it's 12 is your number. It reduces to the number three. My brain is working. <laughs> My brain is working very fast. So anyway, here we have creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I just see a lot of you all learning how to delegate duty in your life. And first of all, for finding out what nurtures your spirit, Capricorn, like what really is soul food for your spirit. And again, I gave you the answers on the, you'll see the thumbnails to how to mother your, how to mother yourself. Um, and working from that, 
like really how to nurture some kind of working from that and then everything else falling into place for you. So let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here, Capricorns. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah, this doesn't have to be. See how this person has their hand over their forehead like, whoo, child, that was a long and arduous journey I just came out of. It's a it's a journey of self discovery. Somebody's going like I said. This solar eclipse is it's it's like very powerful change in everybody's life. Very 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 powerful change in everybody's life. So yeah, get ready. Here we go. Affirmations for letting go. There we go. I release what I cannot control. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. Somebody is going to start learning how, and this is in, this is in an assertive way, because remember, we're coming up on this new moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and it's ruled by, it's ruled by Pluto. The Mars in you is going to start in an assertive way, giving that fire up under you in an assertive way and taking action. When something does not nurture my spirit, I don't care how my mama used to do it, my grandmama, and so on and so back because Pluto is the generational planet. So somebody may have watched their mother just take on just stuff like people dishing stuff to them and they're just not handling it. You are breaking the chain with that. You are starting to say, you're, you're saying, Capricorn, hey, I'm not going to be the doormat for somebody. Hey, if I'm a person where we're talking strong every single whatever, and all of a sudden you ghost me, I may, as a courtesy, call you one time and say, okay, I'm just checking to see if you're all right, see if you're still breathing, if you got a pause, because if not, I need some answers. And if not, guess what? I'm cutting you off. The end. Period. Point blank. Period. Right? You're not trying to be harsh to anybody. It just takes up too much space. All the wondering in the gray area. I'm not really sure. You popping in and out of my life like a jack in the box. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not even going into 2023. Matter of fact, that stops in the month of October. Right? So anyway, that's what I have for you. I see affirmations for letting go. Um, and I see new inspiration coming across your life. Like I said, and I said, perfect synergy when it comes to your money. That's what I have for you. And again, keep shining, keep being the star of your own universe. And like I said, start holding people accountable in love, right? In love, right? That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.